Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about Brace Pork by An Yu. And this is her debut novel, and I want to say it's a novel about grief, but I'm not completely sure if that's all there is to it. The book starts with the main character discovering her husband in the bathtub dead. And from then on, we follow the main character trying to make sense of her life and moving on. That's a very brief summary. The more we learn about the characters, we learn that it was not a loving relationship. It was more a practical relationship. The whole book is set in the center of Beijing, and we learn that the husband didn't provide for her other than leaving her the apartment. So she owns an apartment, but she doesn't work anymore. She used to be a painter, but he was never very supportive. So it turned into a hobby instead of a job. We learn about her family and what they think about her work or not and the marriage. And we learn that she needs to find a job, but she's also struggling with the new reality of being a widow. The first half of the book reads really fast and it's centered around her grieving, trying to come to terms with her new life, finding someone to buy or rent the apartment so that she can make money, starting to paint again and also going a lot to the bar across the street and starting an affair with the bartender. And that's where I thought the novel was going, that she is coming to terms with her new life and really closing her marriage and starting a new relationship. Mostly because we also sometimes get things from the bartender's perspective, which gives us a different view on the main character that we don't get when things are told from her perspective. But then about halfway through, we enter more and more the realm of magical realism. The woman tries to solve the last mystery her husband left her. Next to his dead body, he left a scribble or a drawing of a fishman, meaning a drawing of something with the body of a fish and the head of a human. And this fishman appeared to him in a dream that he told her about. So she's trying to find this fishman. And her travels lead her to a Tibetan village where she finds a sculpture of this fisherman and learns about the world of water. And there is a mythical or magical element about it where I'm not sure if I am lacking Chinese cultural understanding, but I can't find anything on the internet. I can only find Taoist ideas of water, which match how the world of water is portrayed, but the world of water as itself, I can't find any reference to that. So I'm not sure if that is a vital part of the book that I don't understand because I lack cultural knowledge. That may be. I'm not really sure. I don't dislike the book. I thought it read really fast. It had some interesting aspects and I do like magical realism, so I didn't mind that it went off into this tangent of the world of water and whatever happened there. But what I noticed towards the end more and more is how flat the characters were. Even the main character doesn't really feel like a person, but she's the most person in the book. Everyone else feels more as an accessory, as something to fulfill a purpose. and. It also feels a little bit like the main characters using other people to fulfill a purpose. And I don't know if that's on purpose. There's a lot of purpose here. Or if that is because the other characters are just side figures and needed to be there to move the story forward. I can't say that. So while I enjoyed reading the book, there are a lot of questions that I don't know what to do with. And I'm not sure if that is good for a book. I usually think that if a book needs extra research outside of the book, the book is failing because if the book doesn't provide me with all the knowledge and information I need to understand the book and get out of the book what the book wants to tell me, then there is something missing. And that is something that I feel with this book. Overall, if I look at it solely as a story of grief and how to deal with loss, then we can see her process and her steps to overcome this position that she's in, having lost her husband, being alone and trying to find a new way of life. That is done wonderfully because we see her looking onwards at the end and see her moving forwards and past her past with her husband. But I don't know what the thing with the world of water was. 
Let me know in comments if you have read the book, if you've heard about it, if you know anything about the world of water. Eh, I don't know. Let's talk in comments and thank you for watching.